What's up dudes and dudes of the year and my name is Seth and we are back here for some more No Man's Sky on a harsh alien world. Seriously, this place is so deadly. Pretty much everything on this planet wants to eat me. How y'all doing today though, folks? Hope you're doing fantastic, wonderful. Clearly you're gonna be doing much better than I am on this planet and a storm just came in too. Great. <laughs> I would very much appreciate if you would hit that like button for me, folks. It would help me out more than you could ever know. So screw the storm. I don't care. We got to go and get some stuff. So I want to check this one out right here. We got monoliths. We're in the Viking section now. And it's just been all sorts of different discovery. We're going to be naming a bunch of stuff as well at the end of the episode based on your suggestions. Uh, so leave names and stuff like that in the comment section down below. None hamper the path towards uh, as the Sentinels. They must be destroyed. Their time will be ended. So has it been written. So it shall come to be. This is the Viking swear. So... That's very interesting because that is uh, something that the Viking and the Gex seem to have in common is that none of them like the Sentinels. <laughs> now, I also noticed this over here, so I wanted to check this out before I ended up uh, losing track of it. Did that storm just go away or what? I don't know. Uh, but this looked like a very different type of monolith than the ones that we're used to. Did the storm go away? No, it didn't. Huh. So it just kind of goes away as you're flying around. I guess that's okay. I guess it makes sense, but that's a bit too... That's a bit cheap. Okay, so we got to try and do this before we end up getting killed. Because, uh, yeah, this, this is not going well. We got to do this nice and quick. Okay, so hopefully we'll be able to get some type of Viking artifact here as well. I place my palm on the monolith and stand back when it melts... In response to my touch, uh, molten rock drips down the stone, exposing a hollow interior. Inside, I see riches that are beyond belief, ancient technologies and cargo that would aid my journey. Lava continues to drop, and the edifice... Okay, thank goodness. And the edifice seems unstable, but equipment that could aid me is within arm's reach. Suddenly, the voice of an ancient tribe shakes the ground I stand on. Hmm... Even though it keeps talking about it being hardcore uh, gear, I very much doubt that it's anything good. And I don't know what this is, but let's stand back and assume that it's some type of greedy thing, right? Bless uh, my show of respect. Okay. Did we get anything good from that? Okay, we got like 50 things all at once just real quick. No, you gross little crablings. Did I scan you yet? Come here. Scan it. Get it! Yeah! So why does that Viking effigy look exactly like a uh, sentinel? <laughs> like, is that on purpose, I wonder? Grenade, something or rather, I don't know. Uh, and then also, in the last episode, we did end up finding... Uh, well, not finding, but the game actually told us about... Uh, a special monolith kind of up on another planet so we might try to make time uh, to go and do that today what is this just randomness oh that's a distress signal beacon thing yeah all right so the, oh boy hello you're gonna eat me uh -huh. no can you please go away At least we're hurting it. There, jeez, Louise. Can we scan it when it's dead? No, we can't. Oh, wow. We almost died. <laughs> Told you this planet's hostile. I really got to get my hands on some weapons, like, really badly. So what is this going to show us? Is there going to be a crashed ship that's going to have more supplies than ours? Ooh, advanced life form detected. Good. So we might end up trying to rush and check that out. Why can't we scan this? There you go. Silliness. Okay. So there was also a uh, another 
obelisk thing nearby, but that's okay. We don't need to necessarily look at it. Hello, you. Come back. Come here. Turn faster. Turn faster, you stupid ship. Come on, hit one of them. <laughs> Seriously, I wanted to kill him. Well, you know what? We could potentially follow them over to the spaceport, but whatever, that's okay. Uh, instead, let's go to this monolith here, and then we'll go to the advanced life form. See if we can end up finding something. I mean, I have to go and get some plutonium very soon, too. We really need it bad. Which, is there any nearby? Kind of over here in the caves. I'm also noticing, what is this resource? Gold. That's a weird spot for it. Okay, make sure that we touch this thing. Yes. Because otherwise we would end up not marking this on our map. Alright, what do we got up here? So we're going to get some new lore and then there's also that cave right beside us, which is perfect because we need the resource. We need more launch fluid. Oh, jeez. Okay. So what do we got here? Um, burning lights sing to me the Viking ancients in the language of my people. Okay. Uh, the sentinels are not of the natural order. Things must fall apart in their endlessness and replication. The automatons prove themselves abominations. They must be purged from existence. All should die, whether through righteous battle or the assault of time. Everybody really hates the sentinels. <laughs> Really, really bad. I'm really liking the lore, though. It's pretty cool that the Sentinels kind of are just like this. Uh, I guess kind of like the Borg from Star Trek or something like that, you know? It's just, generally speaking, it seems to be something that is not liked by any of the races. And uh, it seems to be its own type of race, you know? Kind of a machine thing that just tries to govern everything. Okay, where is that advanced life for? Ooh, wait a minute. You know what I didn't realize? Is this is this iridium? Are these secretly big, huge, giant things of? Hee oh. <laughs> hee! I'll laser you, you little freak. There. Hey, get out of here! Get out of here! Get hey! I'm trying to see if that's iridium, man. Jeez. Hey, 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 hey! You're new. No, you're not. You're dead, though, because you're ugly. See you later, you freak! Jeez. That's not a iridium or a resource at all, it's just a mountain! <laughs> all that for nothing! Stupid crab creatures, man. Okay, let's go check out this advanced life form, see if we can end up finding something interesting. Because I'm assuming it's just going to be, um, one of those dudes that has a ship port nearby. I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled for any other resources, too, because I haven't really noticed that many on this planet. I mean, maybe there secretly is a bunch that I just haven't really noticed. There's some bases down there. There's an air base over there. Uh, there's some gold right there, which we did already find that. That's okay. Uh, what about that? That is a weird little generated spot, isn't it? Hmm. Ooh. Oh, man, that's bro- Oh, okay, yeah, that was just loading in. That was weird. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's got one that's got a ship port. That's usually what advanced life form means. So we're going to land over here so we don't end up going too close uh, and end up landing on that spot ourselves because I don't want to do that. Because then it'll stop any other ships from generating in. Is there stuff up there? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there is stuff over here, though. Okay, what do we got here? Already known. More stuff with the Vice or Viking. Improving our rep with them. Ooh. And I'm going to grab this over here while I still can. Inventory full. I don't think so. I don't think so, man. Corvax. Oh, wow. We got lots of weird stuff here, don't we? Let's just do that. Because we're going to sell most of this stuff in two seconds anyways. Just so that we have some extra inventory spots. 
Okay, and then, oh, there's another resource, Heridium. That's right, didn't we already find that? Maybe, maybe we did and I just completely forgot. Okay, so. Ugh. Well, we got multi-tool behind us at least. Oh man, I really hope that we can get a big one. Please be a big one, it doesn't look like it though. 15 slots, ah! Very expensive though. I guess because of the upgrades it's got. It's got a lot of combat upgrades. Hmm. Which, combat upgrades might end up being a little bit more useful down the line. Uh, right now it's still all about the resource gathering though, so unfortunately we're gonna have to refuse that. Cool that we found it though. Ugh. Jeez, man. Oh. What do we gotta get rid of here? Um... Dynamic resin air because we don't need to keep that on our person. Okay, you, you weirdo. Ugh. What are you? Interloper, Viking, replace. The warrior looks at me with fire in its eyes. This species is clearly aggressive, and I doubt I'm welcome. Yet the life form bows in greeting. Tradition and honor perhaps dictate it. Uh, I don't feel an, in imminent danger, and am about to turn and leave when the creature points towards my multi-tool. It barks with concern and makes a motion to suggest that I should hand it over. He's talking about a replacement one. Let's hand it over and who cares? It offers an improved replacement multi-tool. Ooh. 18 slots, is that better than ours? Yes, it is. I will take it. Thank you very much. Even though you just got rid of all my upgrades, you little freak. Okay, so what do we need? <laughs> ah, boy. Yeah, yeah, we need lots of these again. All right. <sighs> okay, so we need these ones. Aluminium. We're low on aluminium? Really? Ugh. Chrysonite. Oh, so we're just on Chrysonite Platinum. I think we got those in our ship. Same with the Heridium. Uh, what about combat ones? Let's see if we can get ourselves a little bit more, which I don't necessarily want to do. Still, that's cool that we got a new thing from him. And let's buy some language from him if we can, hopefully. Viking Warrior, Interloper, Dodongo something indicates that ancestors are currently insulted. <laughs> Makes friendly barking noises. Okay. Oh. Uh, a special relationship. Are we a special relationship? Apparently we are, because he gave us some units. Garbage price for units, whatever. Okay. Well, that was still cool, at least. Where's our ship? There it is, over there. We got another ship coming in? Yeah, we do. Good. Alright, I want to take a peek at this guy. See if he's got anything that we can... I keep forgetting I gotta sell stuff as well. Oh, have I been slowly... Yeah, I think I've been slowly scratching off uh, our, our battle makeup, unfortunately. No wonder my eye is itchy. I was wondering. I'm probably, like, rubbing it in. Uh, discuss the sale of its ship. All right, let's take a peek. 23 slots for 2 million. Get out. Go away. JK, I want to sell stuff to you first. Man, these guys are ugly. I like him. He's a freak. Sell. All right, let's see. What do we got here? We got a little bit of aluminum. May as well sell it. He really doesn't like any of this stuff. Let's get rid of these daggers. Uh, the Gek Nip, which whatever. May as well just get rid of it anyway because who cares. So what is he selling though? Trying to keep an eye out. See if he's got anything special. Nah, doesn't really. All right, well, that's still pretty cool. So you know what we might end up doing then, folks? Is it, this is Iridium, right? I mean, I have to definitely go and gather some resources, like seriously. Yeah, that's Iridium, which we need lots of Iridium as well. Um, but you know what? Let's see. Hopefully it's not like 15 miles out. Let's try and go check out uh, that other special monolith that the map is trying to point us to. And then I might come back to this planet and kind of do a little bit of off-camera exploring. But I want to check this out. I'm very curious, because we've never ran into anything special like this yet. I'm assuming it's actually going to give us another location. 
right? Looks like it might be a winter planet, so maybe it'll be less deadly. But now I know we've got gold and heridium on that other planet, which is still something very good. Okay, what do we got here? Can we get any of these? Ooh, we could get this one because we have the Chrysanite and Platinum. May as well grab it. May as well grab this one as well. Bring process. Yeah, sure. Let's grab that one. And then we're still missing this, which requires plutonium. That's easy. And aluminium is something else that we need. Whoa, we were just about to fly off the planet. <laughs> just about to go back into orbit. All right, what do we got down here? Whoa, hit the brakes. There we go. Oh, hey. This is very similar to, I think, the second planet that we ever explored. Okay, so is this going to end up being something special? I mean, it randomly ended up uh, grabbing us here. Like, uh, we were just exploring that other planet and then randomly it just detected this area. And I'm very curious to see, like, what is this about? Why was it sending us here? Is this going to give us another signal to somewhere else, or is it just a monolith? The monolith stands silent on the planet's surface. Ooh. Ooh. It does not belong here. Neither do I. There is a shimmer, and then the vision of the red orb returns. The Atlas. It speaks to me again. Again, I feel the half elation, half terror that I have met my creator. The Atlas offers me guidance, purpose, meaning, significance in an uncaring galaxy. All I must do is follow its path and its orders. Believe the Atlas's promise. All right. Follow the Atlas, obey the Atlas, accept your reward. All right. That's cool. I see lines of code, strings of numbers, then a bizarre structure. I feel a uh, sure conviction that great power awaits me if I travel to this destination. Um, the red orb disappears, and I am left with a path to follow. And it gave us a warp cell specifically to go check it out. We'll have to check that out another time, though, folks, because that one definitely would end up eating up a lot of time. There's no way we'd be able to do that in today's episode. Still cool, though. I really, really like it. Very interesting. Now, another thing, too, I've seen this in shops for quite some time, is... Uh, an atlas stone or something like that. I'm assuming it's a story related item that we would end up Oh, jeez, you scared me. I'm assuming it's a story related item that we're gonna need like at the end of the game or something or maybe uh, once we get a little bit further into the story, but Honestly speaking, I don't know. So we got more gold on this planet Hello hostile weirdo And more heridium <laughs> Never end up getting any of the resources that we need, but hey, that's cool. This planet's still neato. I like it, and at least it's not killing us like that last one. Okay, so I want to take a quick peek. Well, I wanted to. It's not really letting us. Hey, hey, hey. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here, you. Man, these guys are quick. Why can't we hit them? Like, dude, seriously, and then they just outrun us. Like, I can't catch up to them. That's not fair. All right, well, let's land here. This will probably be the last place we check out today. This actually looks like a fantastic waypoint or outpost here because we got lots of different stuff. Man alive. Uh, and then before the next episode, I'm definitely going to spend some time gathering resources on my own. Great one of these, huh? Just so we can kind of get things back up to code. Ooh. Never saw one of those first aid things before. But I want to get our multi-tool back up. Back up to par. And then uh, just gather more resources in general. Uh, suggest that long ago a distress signal went unanswered. A sequence of numbers has been repeating itself for so long that its imprint is burnt into the screen. Uh, an input box flashes at me inconsistently. If I crack the code, I can find the ship. I, like, see, I don't get it. 99 to 92 to 96 or to 86 to 81 to 79 or 77. I guess that would be 77, right? Yeah. Okay. So that one I kind of understood because that was just, yeah. 
All right, so at least we have a distress signal we can check out. Uh, might end up checking that one out off camera on my own, folks. And of course, like if the ship ends up being something, oh, it's on the other side of the planet. If it ends up being something like a ship that's got 50,000 slots or something, I'll definitely clue you all in on all of that stuff for sure. But uh, yeah, if not, well, rip. Then we probably won't end up exploring that one on camera. I'll check out that base over there in a minute, because I want to see what's over here. Plus, we got that ship nearby. Could trade with them. Another multi-tool. Wow, we're getting real lucky. Unless, because we're at this point now, like, we're at this point of the game kind of further in the galaxy. I think it's just kind of throwing more things at us because of that, right? Ooh. 20 slots for only, like, 100,000? Dude, rip my resources. <laughs> we gotta get that one. Yeah, we gotta get that one unless this freak's gonna offer us another one. Ugh. Kiss me. No, later. Interloper. Units unacceptable. Okay. The warrior is silent for a second before looking at me. Conspiratorially. Is that even a word? It looks behind to, ch uh, uh, to check if it's colleagues before powering down security system. We have It has colleagues? The warrior pulls open the trade vault at its feet, which seems to be piled high with multi-tool upgrades. It indicates the contents of my inventory as a trade. Threatened to report... Or give it a couple carbon. Yeah, let's report him. The threatened warrior buys my silence. Okay. Thanks for the heat exhaustion thing. Whatever. Freak. Oh, you know what? Teach me some stuff while you're here, too. Teach me things. Interloper Viking again. Blah, 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 blah. The warrior indicates that it has no current desire to kill me. <laughs> Its lips, if you can call it that, curl over its teeth while it delivers a series of elegantly formed barking noises. Request a repair? What? Why would I want a repair? And it requires like a Viking, like, jeez. The warrior agrees to help by clapping its hands like a crab. <laughs> it didn't say that, I did. What about this ship out here? He probably already left. Yep. Hello, ugly. There you go. There you go. Man, these things are gross. Is that thing hostile? Nah, it's unconcerned. All right. Well, anyway, let's name a couple things, and then um, I guess I'll get to exploring some of this stuff on my own here, folks. Uh, let's see here. So I got a couple more things that... I wanted to name myself because I'm a little bit selfish about that. Plus, I'm kind of building up my repertoire of different name suggestions based on things that you all wanted. Uh, but first of all, the cartoon gamers wanted a planet to be called Planet... I keep spelling it with a... There. Planet Speeder. Bloink. And then I'm going to name an animal. I guess I'll just name this one Cloud. That's one of my real-life cats. Bobo's planet had a whole bunch of stuff as well. I mean, I call this one EB. That's another one of my cats. And then... Hmm. I wanted to name another planet, but I guess that's okay. We don't need to name it. <laughs> Space Bat. Uh -huh. We're going to call this Senpai. And then we're going to call this Rock Sen Poop. So, don't worry, in the next episode, folks, we are definitely going to be back to naming things based on your suggestions. Uh, let's just take a quick peek in here before we call it a day. I am going to buy that multi-tool as well. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you all so much for watching, though, very much. Appreciate it, everybody. Hope you enjoyed Sayonara, and stay epic, everybody. Bye.